We get requests from allies and friends all over the country every day to involve ourselves in things that are very, very important. But we're called to do one thing, to elect people that would put laws on the books that would save lives. The greatest human rights battles of our nation's history have been corrected because they use the tools of democracy. That is exactly what the pro-life movement has just done. One of the things missing in the pro-life movement was political muscle. We wanted to make sure that if we said something, that there were consequences to it. We looked at what institutions would be necessary for us to elect a president that could overturn Roe versus Wade, and now we use those same institutions of democracy to pass laws in every legislature in the land. We needed women to champion life. When we started, there was no real authentic voice of women in politics. So our first job was to elect enough women who would communicate that fundamental truth at the center of politics in the U.S. House of Representatives. When those so-called pro-life Democrats used an executive order as a fig leaf for a vote, allowed health care to pass without protecting unborn life, we knew that we had to defeat them. And so we ended up defeating 15 out of 20 pro-life Democrats. After that, there was a question mark in everyone's head. What will they do if we cross them? We focused on Senate races because Senate races were where the changes might come in the composition of the Supreme Court. In 2014, we took the movement door to door in Senate battlegrounds and won the Senate and made the Senate pro-life and stronger than it had ever been before. We know that we're in the biggest human rights battle of our time and our team work is critical to getting that done. We believe by electing candidates on the pro-life issue and advocating for pro-life laws, you can save the most number of children the quickest. We continued to win with the pro-life issue being at the center of these elections. We wanted to make sure that it was really clear the contrast between our position and the position of our opponents. We know we have so much more work to do, but we do work in a country where democracy does exist, where representative government gives us a chance to improve our lives and our communities every day. And we stand here ready to take those opportunities. It is impossible to look at a child and say, you had no purpose. What we know deep down in us is that each boy and girl has a purpose that only he or she could accomplish. Looking forward, I can see that we will be able to welcome those children, protect them in the law, help launch them into the world to achieve the purposes that God created them for.